many of us find space interesting, and with things like movies, TV shows, and live feeds, it's helped a generation of people fall in love with the wonders of our universe. Every year, countless discoveries are made by space agencies, with NASA no longer being at the forefront of these discoveries. Other space agencies like SpaceX have stepped up their game, introducing us to new rockets, and even saying things like they plan to put millions of people on Mars within the next few decades. It's these announcements that have made people say that within the next few years, we're going to make big leaps in regards to space travel and discoveries. With more missions than ever being given the green light, people have taken time out to tune into these and wonder where the next one will take us. However, during these events, some people have made some interesting discoveries, even going as far as saying that when these missions are launched into space, they're not alone. A number of anomalies have been detected by the cameras, and this has caused many to slow down the footage in order to work out what these things are. One of the things that people say is when these strange crafts are seen out in space, they can't be ours. Agencies and researchers are quite open about the fact that space is one of the last unexplored frontier for humans, and this has caused amateur researchers to give their own opinions on what they think these objects are. One researcher said the following about this SpaceX video. For the last few days, this video has been making its way around Facebook, and it shows what looks like a large object flying close by. I've seen different comments, with some saying that it could be part of the man-made structure that came off during the mission, and that the camera managed to pick up on it, while others think that is an unidentified flying object. What's odd is that this object does seem to have a pyramid-like shape, and to me it seems big. End quote. As mentioned, the clip is currently making the rounds on social media, with people confused about what the object is. Some people who slowed down the video suggested that it's actually a triangle UFO, a commonly sighted UFO that's been reported for many years. As suggested in the name, these objects are triangular in shape, and have been reported for many years, with UFO researchers saying they're one of the most common UFOs. Interestingly, amateur researchers have said these shaped crafts are also reported in space. Another user said the following about the footage. It's hard to deny that this is a trick of the camera. Whatever this object is, it definitely has the shape of a triangle, and it also looks like it has lights on it. I think this is some good evidence we have of an unidentified flying object in space. End quote. Going back a few weeks ago, Elon said the following on Twitter in regards to UFOs. I have seen no evidence of an advanced civilization visiting Earth. Fuzzy pics that are worse than a 7-Eleven security cam frame grab don't count. End quote. Many people hit back at these comments, saying how close-minded and ignorant Elon is being. With one person saying the following. The whole argument around why there aren't clear photographs of UFOs is a frustrating one. Take your iPhone camera for example and put it on maximum zoom and see what happens. It immediately goes fuzzy. Then try and take a photograph of something in the distance. Now imagine that object is moving in the sky. Now imagine you're in the car whilst this is happening. It's near impossible to get a clear photograph of anything under these circumstances. One of the things that many people don't seem to mention is that while camera quality in everyday phones has massively increased, they're only really good for up-close photographs. Anything that's over 5 meters away starts to get blurry. Also, the majority of people aren't expecting to see UFOs, so the whole encounter is rushed. 
People are normally doing everyday things and don't expect to see a UFO. So when it happens, they just pull out their phone and try to take the best photo possible. It's not like people can walk around 24-7 with a tripod and a HD camera waiting for UFOs. End quote. As mentioned in previous videos, NASA's stance on these alleged objects is that they're just space debris and don't show anything of interest. Scientists and researchers all agree that these objects don't need to be investigated and go on to say that these are likely camera anomalies. Amateur researchers have hit back these claims though and say that many of these strange objects are detected during live feeds so before the footage has even gone through any processing stages. Officials stick to their replies though and state these are not of interest. What's strange though is that there seems to be a bit of a disagreement around unidentified flying objects. You have space agencies and people like Elon saying they don't exist, and then you have the Pentagon and other US officials saying these objects need to be investigated more, and even claiming that they've recovered off-world crafts. According to Eric Davis, the astrophysicist claims that the United States Department of Defense is in possession of recovered off-world crafts, and these are verifiably not made on our planet. His story detailed in the New York Times claims that Davis was tasked with giving classified briefings to Defense Department agencies, the Senate Armed Services Committee, and the Senate Intelligence Committee last October. During multiple instances of recovered materials from extraterrestrial events, Davis details that he was unable to determine the source of the materials that made up recovered artifacts, most likely being off-world metals and materials that could not have been terrestrial in nature. These massively different opinions have caused some to think that NASA are not letting us in on what they know, and with some UFO researchers even praising the government for being open about this topic. It seems that time will tell whether we're told more in regards to this subject. So what do you guys make of this video? Do you think it shows a triangle UFO? Or do you think it's just a piece of space debris that made its way in front of the cameras? A former NASA engineer has made bold claims around Saturn. He goes on to say that giant crafts can be seen around this planet, and that the National Aeronautics and Space Administration are well aware of this. The former employee goes on to detail that unidentified flying objects are interested in Saturn's rings, and on numerous occasions we've captured them lurking close to the planet. Dr. Norman Bergeron, who is said to have been an employee at NASA's research centre, details that these crafts that have been captured are not hard to spot, mainly because they're massive, easily being several miles in length. He said the following about the mysterious objects that were detected close to Saturn. Alien spacecrafts are proliferating in our solar system and around these ring planets. End quote. One of the ways he was able to find out about these crafts was because he had exclusive access to raw images. These are images that are sent back to NASA that haven't yet been edited or tampered with, something that is commonly done by the space agency and that they're open about. They claim that various images we see have been edited or are part of various images that have been put together, commonly known as composite images. These raw images, however, gave him an insight into what the public weren't able to see, and in various photographs he could see giant crafts sitting close to Saturn and its rings. Knowing that these objects were being kept a secret, he decided that the general public should know about them, and so went about releasing a book. However, he soon revealed that he wasn't able to get it published in the United States. This caused him to travel to Scotland in the hopes of getting it published. He did and the book was titled Ringmakers of Saturn. Many interesting photographs have been presented to back up his claims, but one of the most interesting ones shows what appears to be a giant cylindrical craft. He calls them electromagnetic vehicles. It was estimated that this giant object was over 2,000 miles long. Dr. Bergrun said the following about the mysterious objects. 
I don't know who built it, but what I found out is that these things inhabit Saturn. That's where I first discovered them, and they're proliferating. They are now in Uranus and Jupiter, wherever you see some rings. I call it the Ringmaker. I could be looking down on the rings and I could see parallel lines crossing all of the rings at once. That's about as long as you could go. I could tell that those lines marked the outside of the object. I say that it's an electromagnetic vehicle, because I can identify streamline patterns, and I know that they were potential lines, and that says it was electrical. End quote. He claims that these giant crafts are building the rings on these planets, with theorists saying that these crafts can be found close to many celestial bodies in our solar system, including the moon, Mars and the sun. It appears though that amateur researchers can't agree on why these crafts are here. Some believe that they're monitoring the solar system, while others believe that they're actually other life forms that we share our solar system with. One of the issues though is the size of these crafts. The majority of them are hundreds if not thousands of miles in length. So what are these things? And if they are genuine, who's building them? One amateur researcher said the following. These giant crafts need to be investigated as they've been witnessed for years. I think that at this point we have enough proof to make a case that these are real. One of the problems is that we look at them and apply human ideas thinking that humans can't build a craft of this size so it can't be done. But this is the wrong way of looking at it, and will actually set us back if we keep doing this. Just because humans couldn't do it, it doesn't mean it can't be done. After all, we are talking about the universe here. Human laws don't apply. I think more research needs to be done surrounding this topic, and the quicker we take it seriously, the quicker we'll get answers. End quote. Scientists and researchers though are not impressed with these kinds of images, with them saying that the most likely explanation is that these objects are just space debris, or anomalies picked up on their camera equipment. When talking about unidentified flying objects in space, one researcher went on to say the following. Most commonly UFO claims are due to perfectly natural flaws or artifacts in our publicly available data. Some of the things that people are seeing are planets, cosmic rays, software glitches, and debris." End quote. Another NASA official said the following about these claims. The majority of these alleged UFO sightings can be easily explained. One of the things that people see is space debris that's made its way in front of their cameras. When these pieces of debris are up close, it can look like an unidentified flying object. In reality, people are just seeing a common piece of space debris. Even with this explanation, UFO researchers have said this isn't what we're seeing, and in some cases, these objects stick around for several hours. With one UFO researcher saying the following, What I find strange is how these cylinder-shaped UFOs are seen on this planet. I think if it wasn't for that, then I'd be more inclined to believe these are natural. But it's just strange how we see similar looking UFOs on our planet. Every year people report different shaped crafts, so I think that there could be more to this than what scientists are letting on. End quote. As mentioned, NASA officials have said that when space debris gets close up to the cameras it can take the shape of a UFO, and many times this is what we're seeing. Officials say if it's not space debris, then the other explanation is that this is a camera anomaly, and these happen during the processing stage. But as some researchers have pointed out, some of these objects are seen on the raw file images before anything has happened. With space being so vast, is it really far-fetched to believe that we share it with other life forms? As of right now, NASA has said they've never recorded a UFO and that every alleged UFO can be easily explained as space debris. So what do you guys make of these mysterious objects seen close to Saturn? Do you think they're linked to the UFO phenomena, or do you think they're just space debris? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, 
and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.